Um, okay, what would you recommend uh, someone to read first of the Church Fathers to get introduced to them? Yeah, that's a good question. And if you're going to read the Fathers, we actually started putting out a series of books, and I think I have mine right here. We only have one. But this um, this is Chrysostom's commentary on Galatians in our uh, Works of the Church Fathers for Modern Christian series. This is the only one we have. But we're, we're going to be putting out others as well. Uh, and, and it's for the purpose that you have some some good volumes that I think are good introductions. Um, Chrysostom is a really good one to start with because he, <clears throat> in a way, he sounds very modern in that his method of doing theology is, I mean, he's just a pastor and he exegetes the text. You know, he goes through, he, it's kind of like reading a modern day commentary. It's like me exactly the same. Um, the, the language is modernized there from the, the older uh, Schaff edition that you'll find in the public domain. Um, the Apostolic Fathers are a great place to start. Uh, John Chrysostom is a good place to start. Augustine's Confessions, of course. You know, a lot of the Fathers can seem pretty confusing and esoteric at first. You know, if you read The Shepherd of Hermas, you'd be very confused. Or, you know, Origen uh, is a bit confusing. So, yeah, really, the cl First Clement... Uh, the Ignatian epistles are a great place to start. Justin Martyr's apology is is really good. <clears throat> Irenaeus is is wonderful, but hard to get through because of the Gnostic teachings that he's interacting with. They're bizarre; like they're really hard to follow what he's talking about um, <clears throat> because the Gnostics are so odd that it kind of gets bogged down in in that. Uh, but on the Apostolic preaching by Irenaeus is probably a better place to go. Um, if you look at uh, St. Ambrose, I love Ambrose, you'll find that his interpretation is very allegorical. And for the modern reader, you may think it very odd, but in terms of practical application and just just the beauty of his, his thoughts and, and phraseology and imagery, I mean, he's, he's wonderful. So Augustine um, grabbed onto Ambrose right away uh, as an order and, and rhetorician, even prior to his conversion. Um, so there, there's a good reason for that. So I'd recommend Ambrose. What I don't recommend doing, and Athanasius on the incarnation of the word. I mean, that's probably, honestly, that's probably the best place to start. I don't know why I didn't say that. Uh, I mean, that's a classic. And the, yeah, everybody recommends a C.S. Lewis uh, edition because he has this really great introduction, which, which is really helpful. I, I, I recommend that edition as well. Um, but if you can do the Apostolic Fathers, the Michael Holmes version is, is the best modern translation. But it, anyway, if you, you know, if you read the Fathers, read whole treatises. Don't just grab collections of quotes or sayings. The Ancient Christian Commentary volumes are really popular. I do not like them at all. I really don't like them. I had, they're beautiful volumes. I had quite a few of them and I gave them away. I just, there, there's no use in them be, because what you have is a bunch of isolated out of context quotations from various fathers on, on various texts. I, uh, I've i seen too much patristic proof texting to you know, the abuse of that for me to be able to really find it very useful. So if you get like the Jurgen set of the church fathers, um, that is very Roman Catholic in its, in its leaning. So in its selections, you can find Protestant leaning ones as well. If you look at Thomas Oden's collections, they're very Protestant in orientation because of the citations that he grabs onto. So uh, I tend to just recommend that people read the individual fathers themselves. Um, and that's daunting because there's so many things. So those are the few things that I recommend. I really like Cyril of Alexandria as well on the two natures. And I know Cyril is, has kind of a reputation in many ways, uh, negative ways for his attitude. I love his writing. I, I, in terms of the two natures of Christ, his Christology is, is brilliant. So I really recommend it.